Now in this part of the question then, we're asked to find out where the curve crosses the coordinate axis. So let's start with this point here where it crosses the y-axis. And at this point, we should know that x is 0. So if I just say here for the y-axis, what we do is we set x equal to 0. So when x equals 0, we have y equals the sine of nothing, 0 plus pi upon 6. In other words, the sine of pi upon 6. If you don't know this one already, OK, just make sure you've got your calculator in radians mode. Then just type in the sine of pi upon 6. And you should find you get a half. So therefore, it crosses the y-axis. OK, it crosses the y-axis at x is 0, y is a half. So that's the first point here. Next, we need to find out where the curve crosses the x-axis. Now, normally, I would set the y-coordinate equal to 0. And I will do that for you in a moment. But for this particular question, if you remember from the first part, what we did was we took the sine graph which came up through here from 0, went to 1 at pi upon 2, then it was down through here at 0 at pi, minus 1 at 3 pi upon 2, and 0 at 2 pi. And what we did was we shifted it pi upon 6 units to the left. So really, these points are pretty obvious, OK? All you've got to do is simply take pi upon 6 away from pi. So if you do that, you're going to get 5 pi upon 6. All right, And if you take pi upon 6 away from 2 pi, then you're going to get 11 pi over 6. So in fact, the coordinates where it crosses the x-axis, let's just put this down here, crosses x-axis, are at 5 pi upon 6, comma 0, and we've also got 11 pi over 6, comma, 0. All right, so they're the answers where it crosses the x-axis. Now, as I said earlier, you didn't have to do it like this. I mean, normally you would set y equal to 0. So I'll take you through that solution anyway. So when y equals 0, okay, we've got the sign of x plus pi upon 6 equals 0. So all you need to do now is just take the inverse sine of both sides and you've got x plus pi upon 6 equals the inverse sine of 0. And where is the sine graph 0? Well, we should know the standard results for this. It means that, if we just come down here, that x plus pi upon 6 would be equal to, well the sine graph comes to say up through here like this, down through there and back through the 2 pi. So sine x is 0 at 0 at pi and at 2 pi. And then we'd have to take away pi upon 6 from each of these values and that will give us x. So x equals 0 minus pi upon 6, which is minus pi upon 6. Pi take away pi upon 6, well that's 5 pi upon 6. And 2 pi take away pi upon 6 is 11 pi over 6. And you can see that this solution, x equals minus pi upon 6, isn't in the range. What it's showing is, is if this curve carried on back here, this point here would be minus pi upon 6. But we're only interested in these two points. So they're the ones that I would want and that would give me these two points where the curve crosses the x-axis. So that's an alternative for you. Okay well that brings us to the end of this part in the question.